So we've learned about Gizmo and we learned about subtools. So let's talk about one more organizational method and that's folders within ZBrush. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit the comma key, go into our tool menu, and we'll double click the demo soldier again because again he has multiple subtools. He has 11 subtools. So if I drag him out on our canvas, go into edit mode, and then open up the subtool menu here, and we scroll down, you're going to see here's all the subtools, and again we can change this visible count here as needed. And you're going to see we have a lot of subtool options in here. There is a rename here, so we have the demo soldier selected, and if I hit rename, we can name this, say, body. Now, there's one caveat here. If we go in here to tool, save as, and save as a Z tool, and let's go ahead and just save this on the desktop as test, you're going to see it saved this as test. So even though we renamed it, this very top subtool is always going to inherit the file name. What I like to do is go in here to insert, go ahead and grab a polymesh 3D star, use this bent up arrow, hold down shift and bent up arrow to the top here. And if you want, you can even turn this off and we'll go in here to transparency mode and we'll hit E to go into scale. We'll just scale this down and then hit Q. And again, you can move this anywhere inside of his body just so that it's out of the way. And I'll just leave this up here at the top. So now when I go to save as test and I'll just save over the Z tool here, that'll inherit that name. And then this one here, I can go ahead and rename back to body. And if you remember, I can go through here, I can turn off that eyeball. And then if I choose another subtool, his body disappears. If we scroll down here, you're gonna see there's an auto reorder, all low, all high. Essentially, if I do auto reorder, the topmost subtool will be the most poly count. And if I hover over this, you'll see that poly count is 40,000. And then the body is 32,000. The boots are 5,300. And it goes down from there. If I hit auto reorder again, it'll be lowest to highest. All low will switch all the subtools to the lowest subdivision level. So if we have multiple objects here, and if we go in here to geometry, how you can hit control D to subdivide a mesh it'll automatically make every subtool the lowest subdivision level. Now if we go here to all high, now you're gonna see they're gonna get higher subdivision level and all of these will be at the maximum subdiv level. And here's also a copy subtool, so we can say copy. And then if you hit paste, it'll basically just run the exact same thing as a duplicate. And if you want, you can go ahead and hit delete and say okay. We've already talked about append and insert. Append's gonna put the subtool down here at the very bottom. So if I want to append a sphere, it'll put a sphere polymesh 3D at the very bottom. I can go ahead and delete that one. Now if I choose the glove and then do insert polymesh 3D, it'll insert underneath the glove that subtool. And we'll go ahead and hit delete again. And here, if we have the backpack selected and I hit delete other, it's going to delete all of my subtools except for the backpack. And if I hit delete all, it'll delete everything out of my scene. I can just hit delete all and it'll delete all the subtools. To get him back, let's just hit the comma key, go to tool, and then double click demo soldier again. And hit the comma key to turn down off your light box. Now like I was saying before, if we go ahead and we have the body selected, just alt, tap the body or select the very top subtool, turn that eyeball off, and then tap any other subtool. You're going to see we have two options here, list all and new folder. If you hit hover over list all, you're going to see the hotkey for that is N. Uh, so you can go through here, you can tap the N key or hit that button. And you can select, just like you select brushes, for example, we have two subtools that start with G. So if you hit N, G, it's going to narrow it down to glove and goggles. So we can hit N, G, G to select the glove, N, G, O to select the goggles, or you can just hit N, G and go, okay, there's my goggles, and then select it. It'll select your goggles. So that's an easy way to kind of grab subtools that you might need. And again, just like the brush menu, narrowing it down by name. Now you're going to see with the goggles selected, I don't have it in this list because I already have it selected. So when I go to NG again, I only have one option and that's a glove. However, I can do NB and narrow it down to all the ones that start with B and now I'll have backpack, belt, and boots. So if I choose my belt here and then do N, B again, I've only got backpack and boots because my belt's already selected. And you're also going to see new folder in here. So with the belt selected and I say new folder, I'll call this upper body. And now my belt is in the upper body section. So let's say I want to organize all of these 
assets into upper body. So I can alt tap the vest and I can just literally drag this vest into upper body. I can alt tap the backpack, drag the backpack into upper body. So we have folders in here and we can click the folder to open and or expand it and close it. We can use this folder visibility to turn the eyeballs off of everything in your folder or turn everything else back on. And again, you can just continue to drag the shirt, the body, the glove, the goggles, and the wristbands uh, all into this upper body folder. And then you can collapse it and then very quickly turn off all the upper body uh, subtools. However, because we still have a backpack in here selected, you're gonna see there's a little pencil icon. As soon as we click out of here, that pencil icon is going to go away because nothing in this folder is selected and the eyeball is off so we don't see any of those upper body sub tools. Of course we can turn this back on, we can open this back up, and we can select any of these in here and you'll see that pencil icon shows up again because we're currently in the selected folder by selecting sub tools that are in the folder. Now there's some options in here, so if you click this little gear icon, you're going to see there's a delete folder and a delete all. If you say delete all, it's going to delete the folder and the folder contents. If you go through here and say delete folder, it'll just delete the folder and then you're back where you started. So I'm gonna show you an easier way to gather subtools. So we hit W and we go to transpose multiple, which we've already used before. Again, we can hold down control shift and tap. That'll hash everything out or control shift drag to unhash everything. And if we just wanna move, or if you just want to, well, both, if we just wanna move these upper body objects here, you can control shift drag over everything in the upper body and now you can move them. Another thing you can do is with move multiple selected and these things unhashed, if you go down here to new folder or if you do the hotkey for that, which is control F, it'll ask you, do you want to group all of these visible objects that are in move multiple unhashed right now into their own folder? I'm gonna go ahead and say always yes and we'll call this upper body and now all of those subtools are in upper body. Now, the body wasn't visible when I did that, and that's okay. I'll go ahead and leave him as his own separate subtool. So now we have upper body here. So we'll go ahead and select the body here, and we'll turn off upper body, and we'll turn off the body here. So now we just have knee guards and boots. Let's go ahead and control drag, control shift over both of these, say control F, say, lower body, and now both of these are in the lower body folder. So we have a body out here, and then we have an upper body folder and a lower body folder. Let's go ahead and turn off move multiple. And we'll talk about some more of these folder options. So again, if you select the upper body folder, and then we'll choose this little gear icon. We've already talked about delete all and delete folder. You can rename the folder, let's call this upper. And then back here at the top, you can transpose set. So if we want to, we can say transpose set, and that's immediately gonna go into move multiple and have all of the upper body subtools selected for you to be able to move. So to transpose everything in that folder. And here you're gonna have transpose add. So if you want, you can go down to this folder now and say transpose add, and you can add the lower body contents to the upper body contents, and now you can move both. You also have transpose sub. So if we go to lower body and then we say transpose subtract, that'll get rid of these subtools. And now again, we're just back to the upper body transpose. We have duplicate, so you can duplicate these off and it's gonna duplicate the folder and the subtool. So we'll say, okay. And now we have two upper body folders here. So if I move this over, you see, so what I can do is take this upper, this top one here and say transpose set and now I can just move over these and you're gonna see it leaves behind a copy of my other clothing. Or I can go down here and I can say delete all and that'll delete the folder and the subtools. I also have a merge up. So if I take this lower body here and I say merge up, it's going to merge all of the subtools that were in lower body into upper. Show poly paint in here is the basically the same thing as holding down shift and turning on poly or colorize, but you can always go through here and you can say show poly paint or hide poly paint for the entire folder. Now we touched briefly on Booleans, but you can Boolean a folder and Boolean with dynamic subdivision. This will make more sense when we get deeper into Booleans. Just know that for a particular folder, you can go through here and we'll touch on this when we get to Booleans later, that per folder you can run Boolean operations. 
merge folder will actually take all the subtools, we collapse this down, and merge all of these pieces together into their own subtool. And of course, if we turn this visibility off and then go back to our folder and turn this on, we don't lose anything. We go out of solo mode here. Everything's still available to us. The entire folder here, if we go to transpose set, everything in that folder is still there. It just merged everything in the one subtool and then turned off the visibility of that folder. So now all of this, let's go ahead and turn off move multiple, all of these are merged into one subtool. So that's the basics of the folder functionality. So let's go down here and go ahead and say delete. And there's another thing you can do with this folder here. You can go in here to Z plugin. I'm going to go ahead and drag this over here to the left docking area. There's a subtool master, and you can copy and paste folder. Now there's some other really cool things in, you can do in here. For example, with all these visible, you can go in here to export. And if you export with this option under subtool master, it'll export everything as an OBJ, an MA, an X3D, whatever you want. So if you have OBJ selected and hit OK, it'll export every single subtool as a named OBJ. If you go up here right here to File Export, it'll export just the selected subtool as an OBJ. Of course, if you want to export multiple, I prefer to do a export FBX and then say visible or all, and then it'll export everything as one file, an FBX file, with multiple sub-objects in that one file. But anyway, going back here, if we select this folder here, and we want to say copy the contents of this folder into another tool. I can have this folder selected, say copy folder. I can go to another tool completely and I can say paste folder and then I'll go ahead and paste that folder and its contents into this file. So that's just an easy way to transfer objects between separate tools. Now when we were talking about fill, there is over here there's fill so you can actually fill every subtool with a particular color, material, or color and material. So for instance, if I wanted to fill everything with red and skin shader 4, I could go over here to fill, say fill, color and material, all visible subtools, say OK, and then I'll go through there and fill every single subtool with a red color and skin shader 4. And of course, if I hold down shift and turn off colorize, that'll turn off colorize for me or shift to turn this back on, and I can do it by folder as well. Go into the folder icon, say hide poly paint, and that'll give me the same result. Now, we mentioned clone and copy paste tool a while back, and I wanted to explain that a little bit further now that we know the fundamentals of subtools here. So if I go over here and I have the demo soldier body selected and I hit clone, it's just gonna clone that one subtool. However, if I have an entire tool full of subtools, so we got 11 here, and I go up here to copy tool, and then I select, say, this PolyMesh 3D, and I go paste tool, it'll paste all of the subtools into a completely different tool with subtools. So we have two identical tools with identical subtools.